Welcome to another lesson. We are coming to the end of this topic of social interaction in the society. We are coming to the end of our lesson. But before I start for today's lesson on interaction among the Kenyan in the past, let me clarify something uh, that I said last last week, whereby I said initiation about the age set and age group and the age group. These two, the age group, age set is usually formed from age group. Here is where people are born, born almost the same time. All born almost the same time. Here they are initiated the same time. Initiation. So in exam, you can be asked with the, the initiation. You can be asked people born almost the same time or people initiated almost the same time. And you will find both answers in the papers. If they ask you people born almost the same time, you will check the age group. When they ask people initiated almost the same time, check the age set. In different books, they usually they don't differentiate specifically, but in the exam, you will find that both answers are there. You will find that both answers are there. So if you are going to say people initiated in the same time is the age group, then that will be wrong. That will be wrong. People initiated at the same time. When you get the two answers of the paper, people initiated at the same time is the age set. People born almost the same time is the age group. Unless there is only one answer. But when you get both answers, you have to know this difference. That is what I wanted to specify. That initiation is the age set. People born almost the same time is the age group. But these age sets are always formed from the age group. You have to be born to be circumcised. You can never be circumcised. You have to be born. And those people you play together with are the ones that you are going to be circumcised with. So, for specification, for the exam purpose, we are going to, I'm going to you have to put in mind that born almost the same time is the age group. Initiated almost the same time is the age set. This is because of examination. Because most of the exam papers, there are always these two answers. They can either give initiation or born. So you have to know specifically this is what is in exam. That is what you shall come to exam. So as a continuation, as a continuation, as we complete this topic, we want to see how interaction, how people interacted in the past. How did people interact in the past and how did people in, uh, usually interact in the present Kenya today? So we are going to start with the interaction among Kenyan in the past. How did those people in the past interact? Interaction is coming together. How did they come together? How did they meet and at what time? First, they interacted through trade. trade. This is what. And here there was the trade that was there was butter trade. They were doing butter trade. Butter trade. Exchange of goods. This is the exchange of goods. Of goods with goods. This is butter trade. And this in an examination, when you get the how did the people in the past mainly interact? How did the people in the past mainly interact? The people in the past mainly interacted through trade. This is the main one because every time people are going to the market, they meet there, they interact. So in an exam, they usually ask, how did the people in the past mainly interact? The answer, those answers that are always there, we usually see trade, we can see wedding, 
we can see uh, we can see maybe in terms of war in terms of calamities but the main one how they interacted mainly is through trade this one is the way they interacted because every time someone needs to buy food someone needs to something to eat so they go to the market every almost every day someone is going to the market and there you are going to meet with other communities who have maybe example the bantus were farmers while the kushites or the nylons were pastoralists so a bantu will carry his maize go to the market with the nylons who had maybe milk they exchanged there they interacted they interacted with one another what i have and maybe you don't have so we are going to interact we buy as we buy we interact so this was the main reason why people interacted the main reason how people interacted in the traditional african society this one was the main one but there's also intermarriages there's intermarriages intermarriage between communities intermarriage between communities intermarriage between community is another way in which people interacted in the past here a person uh, maybe a man uh, maybe a, a, a man from kikuyu going to marry a woman from uh, luya or, or kamba or the duo community so this is how people interacted from these two communities where a man from kikuyu marries a girl from a uh, duo the two communities will interact and they come together this is another one the third one is sports through sports and the sports who are there that were there were uh, the sport that people are there it was wrestling we had wrestling we had tug of war tug of war we also had spear throwing spear throwing this is on uh, these were types of games that were being uh, played in uh, traditional african society is where the two communities maybe a community goes to play wrestling with another community they want to know which community is stronger than the other one tug of war the same same thing so sports, those were types of sports that were being played. Then we come here, we see bat and nemi, the bat and nemi, bat and nemi, or the child. In traditional African society, in the past, a child was considered as a community. At this child was for the community. So the whole community will come together during this time they bring some will bring food for the mother some will bring uh, different types of clothes uh, that the child will need so those are things that were du during the initiation the child uh, was considered as the child was the, for the community the whole community so they all came together during this time of the child and naming they gave, they supported, the elders sat together, they enjoyed drink to celebrate this child. We also have number five, we have initiation. Initiation. This is why I say this is the circumcision. And recently on Saturday, I, I think some of you, if you watched the uh, NTV news and at NTV on Saturday night, there was this Bukusu. Bukusu, there is this Bukusu community who are almost, they were telling the president to unlock the country, the lockdown, so that their boys can go for circumcision. And they were saying that if they don't do this circumcision now this year, they have to wait until 2022 for them to, to do the circumcision. And this one will cause them to have longer time. They have been overgrown and this will lead to them being ashamed. So this community preserves that culture. They believe in uh, 
they believe in sharing this time or having the initiation, celebrating with one another during this time of celebration or initiation. They celebrate together with one another. We also have here, and I say here, initiation did not only come for the for only initiation is not only circumcision. Here I say the Lua community was moving the lower six teeth, and this was also an initiation in that community. We also go to another way in which they interacted. The another way in which they interacted is through migration. Here is through migration. This is the sweet point. Migration is movement from one place to another. So most communities in Kenya, like the, we have the Bantus, the Nilos, the Kushai, they all migrated. And after migration, they came, they interacted through that time. Others borrowed culture. Others borrowed culture from each other. Borrowed culture from each other. This is where, like the Bantus were farmers, while the Kushites were pastoralists. So the Bantus borrowed the culture of pastoralism from the Kushites. The Bantus also started being pastoralists, uh, keeping cattle, while the, the Bantus started being, uh, practicing, practicing uh, mixed farming. Bantus started practicing mixed farming. Why? Why Kushites have uh, started also mixed farming, where they borrowed some culture from the band, they also started cultivation and so on. So, the same to the Kushites. Now, let's go to another how interaction among Kenya interaction among Kenyans. Today, how do people interact today in our community? How do people interact today in our community? People interact today, recently in Kenya, by one religious ceremonies through religious ceremonies here, religious ceremonies. Religious ceremonies. Religious ceremonies here, people go to churches, mosques, we have temples, it is sick. I said nowadays people go for religious ceremonies in churches, mosques, and temples, it is sick. So people gather together from different communities. You go to churches, you cannot even know the community of a person unless that person speaks. But when they are congregated there, all of them, they are one in church. That is how they interact today. We also go to another here, weddings. In weddings. In Kenya today, we still consider a wedding as a community thing. You cannot go for a wedding, you and the husband alone. So it is a community thing. People from this community, maybe as I said in the past, there were maybe a Kikuyu and a Luo. The same continues today. There are different people, communities. Maybe if one person married from another community, they still come together during weddings. They still come together during weddings. We also have education institution. Three is education. Educational institution. Educational institution. And here we are talking about schools. Schools. Colleges. Colleges and universities. 
fear and the here I've said in the past people interacted mainly through trade mainly through trade nowadays in Kenya the question can come and they ask him how is Kenya news mainly interacting he how is how are Kenya news how are Kenya news mainly interacting how are Kenya news mainly interacting Kenya news are currently interacting through educational institution educational institution that is how Kenya news are interacting nowadays example here we are in St. Claret we are from different communities we go to another a high school maybe you'll be called in a high school in a place like Nairobi where you will find a different people from different communities you go to university, you are being called maybe in, uh, in Cabernet or somewhere. There you will also find people from other communities. So this is how Kenyan youths mainly interact. And I've considered saying Kenyan youths, Kenyan youths, they mainly interact through educational institutions. That is the main. I'm specifying this because of examination. At times, they usually ask these questions. How do people or youths mainly interact? How do youths mainly interact? Youths mainly interact through educational institution, institutions. And here in the past, I say it is through trade. That is how they interact. As we continue to number four, Kenya is interacting today. We have games and sports games and sports games and sports that is another games and sports people competing from another from this county St. Claret competing from people from uh, other regions like other counties you can go to Lamu, you can go to Kilefi there people interact you can also go for national games national games is a nation this is we are competing with the whole nation so we go, we find people from Kakamega, people from Kisumu, people from Nyeri. We are there, we are interacting. You can also find friends from those counties. So this one also is another way in which people usually interact. We go to another trend. Another one is trend. Trend. Here, this also is the main interaction among Kenyans today. This one is also another main interaction among Kenyans today because you have to, in the trade, when you talk about trade, we are either uh, in services like buses, that is trade, you are giving out money, you have to travel, that is trade. So we are interacting maybe in those vehicles people are interacting in businesses our families are having houses that we are that is trade so there is where you find most people are interacting mainly through trade there is also another one peer media people interacting through media we have radio radio we have television we also have internet. Internet. Here is where mostly many youths have now turned out to internet for interaction. You find good friends or other bad friends, you can find them also in the internet. So people are now interacting through media. This also has assisted the current day to uh, to have interaction, people are interacting through media. We go to the last one, which is youth groups and women groups. Youth groups and women groups. Youth groups and women groups. Youth groups is where uh, we have in churches, we also have in example here, we have in churches like YCA, Young Catholic Association. We also have women groups, our parents know, our women know how these groups work. 
our mothers usually go to these groups. So these are the types of examples. There are very many ways in which people interact in the society today, but how are we interacting? These are the, just the example of interaction among Kenyans today. We have religious ceremonies, weddings, education, games and sports, trade, media, and the youth groups. And I've specified and said, if the question comes asking about youth, how youth interact in our community today, I've said it is an educational institution. How people interacted in the past, mainly in the past. All answers are usually correct, but we have to consider the main one. The main one in the past was trade, and here I've said through educational institution. That marks to at the end of our lesson, our topic. I'd be screening some questions for this topic. I think I've concluded. If you have another any question considering the topic, you can just tell your parents to inbox uh, me. So that is